This spring, when the cicadas start emerging, we're going to have an opportunity to cook those and try them in different dishes. So what we want to do today is to show you some of the dishes you can prepare using cicadas. We're not going to use cicadas today because they're not out, we don't have them, so we're substituting them with other kinds of insects. We're going to cook up a stir fry. I call this cicada stir fry, but we're not using cicadas today. We're going to be using chapeline. We've got peppers, white onions. Uh, I like snow peas, so I put snow peas in here. And we've got some mushrooms, uh, bamboo. Of course, we have our chapelines, and you can add as many or as few as you want. This is one of my favorite dishes to make uh, entomophagy, eating insects. These are uh, chapelines. It's a grasshopper. Uh, very common in the Oaxaca, Mexico area. We'll use them as the main ingredient for a, a street taco. So according to the recipe, you can use a half an onion with this many chapelines, half a tomato, and some pepper, fresh cilantro. You know, desserts are among our favorite things at the dinner table. This is one of the easiest desserts you can make. We'll be covering some of our insects in white chocolate and some in dark chocolate. We're gonna be coating mealworms, crickets, and chapelines. Well, David Bechtel and I have been in the kitchen all morning cooking up different dishes. The unusual thing about these dishes is they all contain either whole insects or they contain insect protein in the form of insect powder. You know, we have cicadas emerging this year because we only have this opportunity four or five times in our lifetime. So we need to take advantage of it, whether it's just going out and observing what they're doing or whether it's actually cooking them in dishes. They are an excellent source of protein and I encourage you to uh, talk with your family and see how you might be able to integrate that into something on your dinner table.